Hello. Hi everyone, uh, Josh here from Adventure Film Nerds and we are very fortunate being here with Manu and Tarini, who was Icheb in uh, Star Trek Voyager and that was all courtesy of Culture Shock, Shock Events, as we said by Mark Penarello. Oh, Excellent, nice got it right. Yes. <laughs> I've got your name right too. You were close enough. No, close enough. Yeah, just respond to anything close. Okay, fair enough. It's fair enough. Monument Terrain. Okay, thank you very much for the correction. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those sorts of geeks. I've read a lot of stuff. Don't mess around the pronunciation because I've read. I didn't know how to <laughs> spell my name until I was 12. So oh, fair enough. Right. No worries. <laughs> Excellent. So you started with Star Trek Voyager at a young age. Yep, um, coming in as a recurring character with an established cast. Was that all intimidating or how was your experience? It with was, that? you know, I thought it was going to be intimidating. I was 20. Either 20 or 21 yeah. when I got the part, so mm -hmm. I was I was older than the kid was. I think the kid was probably a teen, right. yeah, yeah. 17, 18 mm -hmm. or something. Um, but you know, I, I had seen all the films, so I was a fan of the, the genre, you know, the culture and the, the, yeah, yeah. The, the franchise. Absolutely. So knowing that I was just coming out of that was intimidating enough. <laughs> sure. You know, acting those kind of guys. Absolutely. Um, and I knew I was most most worried. I mean, most excited and nervous about working with Bob Carr. Oh, I've seen a lot of his work. Um, but you know, sometimes you go on to a cast uh, like as a guest star. You're only going to work for two weeks, and the entire cast is full of narcissists <laughs> that just don't give you the time of day. And you know, it's really kind of intimidating and awful. And you just I play my paycheck and go home. But Voyager was not like that. I mean. I think they go out of their way to hire cool people. I mean, they, the interviews, I had to interview four times, and yep. I think they kind of weed out, you know, people with egos. Yep. And the fanboys, I guess, that yeah. want to answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be intimidating to the established well, cast and all yeah. that. So, yeah. so it was, um, and, and if, you know, everybody treated me like I was, uh, right from the get-go, an equal part of the team, and listened to input that I had. So it was comfortable you know, right from the get-go, yeah. except for the you know that out, the morgue out there. Oh sure, yeah. a lot of makeup. It, a chance on for that. Five hours, four and a half, yeah. and then the only the thing about that makeup that's gnarly is it stinks. It smells bad because it's this it's this little organic foam rubber latex that mm -hmm. immediately starts rotting. So it's, it smells like a mildew, like oh, a sticky wow. towel. Okay. <laughs> and then if you're on a ship full of these things, yeah. And the, the, the poor extras, they they have they're wearing like three or four day old outfits. So the board ships like really stink. Yeah. So so basically the, those crinkle noses are actually more genuine response Genuine rather than yeah, yeah, acting yeah. response. Maybe so. that's part of the, the whole makeup thing. <laughs> Fantastic. And one of the questions, I think we've got to wrap it up here. Um, but yeah, you've got some great episodes uh, within it, uh, particularly Charles I sure Play. did. Amazing yeah. stuff. Uh, Charles I was, Play. I was really good. And got to be uh, working with like Mark Shepard and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one of those actors in everything. Uh, so yeah, what was it like as a young actor just having this goal type of stuff to play with? I gotta be honest with you, yeah. like I cried man, yeah. when I read the script the first time. I called mom and I'm like, I'm gonna do something that affects people. Yeah. Like, I was proud to do all that stuff. So, and um, the, I think the writing for that character was excellent. And yeah. Each time a character, each time an episode came along that was based on me, I was thrilled. Absolutely. Um, you know, the first three episodes, each of was kind of a whiner. <laughs> and I, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't much like playing the, the whiny kid. Yeah, but then yeah. the writing got so much better for, from then on out. And they, they gave him an arc and a real journey and finding his humanity and a lot of great scenes and heavy stuff and near death. Absolutely. Great, great stuff to watch. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, yeah. We've got a few more things to move on with the event, so that's going to be great. Thank you for being back to Australia and meeting all the fans. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we've watched most of the event today. All right. Well, thanks thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. And thanks, Mark, again.